January the 1st, today, a huge middle finger from Oregon to the rideshare companies. What they will not tolerate is the abuse when it comes to insurance or insurance for drivers and riders. So a huge, huge middle finger to the companies. Let me just share why. Ride handling companies must provide insurance coverage for Oregon drivers and passengers starting today. Now, how do you get to that point? Well, you put the pressure on the legislators, the pressure on the government, the pressure on the state, and you circulate the abuses. And, you know, if somebody wants to take up the bill and say, hang on, they got a, they got a good point here. I could maybe score some political points. I'm going to introduce this bill as a politician or as a legislator, and I'm going to push it through. I'm going to get their votes, right? Because that's how these guys survive. They need votes. And this bill went through. And it's a good thing, right? And to those naysayers, to those people that say, oh, we can never achieve something, in social media and that the drivers are powerless, right? I have news for you. When you stand up and show a spine or a backbone and actually fight for something in life, you get it. It may take time, but you get it. But you have to be relentless, folks, right? Relentless. So we keep on pushing the same messages. We want rights. We want insurance. We want safety. We want better pay. And we got to whip it home every single day. So I, the, the few little trolls or the few naysayers in my channel, and there's usually just one out of every hundred or maybe one out of every thousand that says it cannot be done. I have news for you. It can always be done if you are organized, if you are relentless, if you work together, if you push your message. And if you use vitamin C contacts in life, right, you will get it done. So let me just share what happened today. Um, starting New Year's Day, uh, ride hailing companies and taxis, also known as transportation network companies, TNCs, been mentioned many a times in my channel, will be required to provide personal insurance protection for drivers and passengers in Oregon. The bill that requires the new coverage, HB 2393, was introduced last January and signed into law in June. It becomes effective today. So TNCs are an increasing part of people's daily lives. In 2019, over 10 million rides were completed in Portland alone. But until now, those um, Oregonians, as they call them, who had been in accidents while riding in a car, hailed from a taxi or services like Uber had to wait until their cases concluded to collect lost wages or get medical bills paid. That process could take years, according to Rob Dalton, a consumer protection attorney. But under this new legislation, folks who depend on ride hailing services or taxis can rest assured that if something happens, they can get the insurance relief they need. Personal insurance protection provides medical coverage at a minimum of $15,000 per person involved in the traffic collision. It also provides wage protection of up to $3,000 per month for a period of 52 weeks. That time period is flexible and isn't restricted to one year after the accident. Wage coverage can be activated from one to six years after the accident. Medical coverage is limited to two years after the accident. Some ride hailing companies like Uber had been taking advantage of a loophole that exempted them from providing personal insurance protection. Let me repeat that, right? This is, this is how these guys operate. Some ride hailing companies like Uber had been taking advantage of a loophole that extended them from providing personal insurance protection, Dalton said. Lyft, however, voluntarily provided it. Interesting, right? Oregon is one of the last states to institute a statewide law applying to Uber, Lyft and taxi industries, according to Dalton. It made absolutely no sense that transportation network companies were exempt from that wonderful coverage 
that provides such a critical benefit to Oregon consumers, said Dalton. It's an oversimplification, but this is a bill that makes life safe for millennials. Thank you. Thank you for fighting for that bill, Oregon. Thank you for standing up for drivers and riders, Oregon. We appreciate you. You've shown us the way. Now, we got to get that in all states. Don't you agree? And again, I'm sorry to say, Uber and Lyft, when you skirt the law, when you circumvent the law, right? This is what happens. We show you the middle finger and we fight back. My friends, be safe out there and stand for something. Drive safe.